Not everyone can have a Hollywood ending. Just f***ing kill me. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies where the villain kills the hero. For this list, we're taking a look at those films that flip the script and have the protagonist die at the hands of the antagonist, either directly or indirectly. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. As you can probably guess, we're gonna slap a great big spoiler alert on this one. You, Sergeant, are the right kind of adult. Number 10, The Wicker Man. With the crops for your summer aisle, next year your people will kill you on May Day. A policeman named Sergeant Howie follows clues to an isolated island, hoping to find out what happened to young Rowan Morrison. And things get weird pretty quickly. The people on the island, and even the girl's own mother, seem to want to prevent him from solving the mystery. In the name of God, woman, what kind of mother are you? It's only when Howie discovers a photograph of Rowan that he determines she's to be sacrificed for the good of the island's crops. Unfortunately, though Howie manages to free Rowan, his troubles are not over. Turns out he's actually the one earmarked for sacrifice by the pagans of Summer Isle. A shot of him burning alive inside a huge Wicker Man statue is the last we see of Sergeant Howie. <laughs> Number 9, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Breathe it in. That's fear. You're not brave. Despite the film's title, the climax here actually sees Batman and Superman teaming up. And with the help of Wonder Woman, they take on Lex Luthor's malevolent creation. This thing, this creature, seems to feed on energy. This thing is from another world. My world. In his quest to bring down the most powerful being on Earth, Luther brings Doomsday to life using a combination of kryptonite, Kryptonian DNA, and human DNA. With every step of the battle, Doomsday evolves, becoming more and more powerful. Finally, Superman is forced to use Batman's kryptonite spear in a last-ditch effort to end the fight before it can spill into a populated area. Sadly, staying true to the comic books, Doomsday and the Man of Steel simultaneously kill each other in what looks like a really painful exchange. Number 8, The Departed. Drop your weapon! You go into a Martin Scorsese gangster flick expecting two things, lots of violence and lots of death. But little did we know that this time, he'd be killing Leonardo DiCaprio. You erased me, huh? Oh yeah, go ahead, shoot a cop, Einstein. Watch what happens. To catch a mole in the Boston Police Department, Leo's Billy Costigan is undercover in Frank Costello's mob to live a life of crime. We see many horrific things throughout the film, like beachfront executions, people going splat, and random severed hands. But nothing matches the split second in which Costigan is shot in the head by one of Costello's moles. It's the suddenness of the murder that lands it on this list. We barely have time to process it because it happens in the blink of an eye. Costello was gonna sell us to the FBI. It's you and me now, you understand? We gotta take care of each other, you understand? Number seven, Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. Han Solo. He means nothing to me. It was pretty obvious that Kylo Ren was going to be related to at least one beloved original trilogy character. That's Star Wars M.O. What wasn't obvious is that he'd kill his own father. Han Solo. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. After being sent by his parents, Han and Leia, to learn the ways of the Force from his uncle, Luke Skywalker, Ben Solo is drawn to the dark side, just like his grandfather, Darth Vader. Your son, he's gone. He was weak and foolish like his father. So I destroyed him. During an emotional father-son reunion, it looks as if Ben, or Kylo, has seen the error of his ways. Will we ever learn? <laughs> Number six, Saving Private Ryan. Not many directors have the guts to kill off Tom Hanks, but Steven Spielberg did it. In this epic war flick, Hanks plays Captain John Miller, the commander in charge of a mission to save Private James Ryan, the last survivor of the four Ryan brothers sent to fight in World War II. By the film's climax, Miller's lost several men, but decides to help Private Ryan's company defend a bridge from German infantry. Unfortunately, 
In a case of tragic irony, Miller is shot by the same Nazi soldier to whom he'd previously shown mercy. But even as he faces certain death, Miller will do whatever it takes to accomplish his mission and offer some advice to young Private Ryan. James, earn this. Earn it. Number five, boys don't cry. Leave him alone! Him? Him? Boys might not cry, but we sure did during this gritty and emotional drama. Hilary Swank gives an Oscar-winning performance here as the young transgender Brandon Tina. After Brandon's so-called friends, ex-cons John and Tom, discover Brandon's secret, they viciously attack and rape him, then hold him hostage. But Brandon will not stay down, and he ultimately escapes and reunites with his girlfriend Lana. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Oh my God. What did they do to you? This, plus a healthy dose of alcohol, just fuels John and Tom's anger further, so the two criminals track Brandon down, intent on killing him. Depicting real-life events, this pulls on the heartstrings a little more than many movie deaths. No! No! <laughs> Number four, Braveheart. Every man dies. Not every man. Scotsman William Wallace finds himself facing a powerful enemy after King Edward Longshanks violently occupies Scotland. Tragically, Wallace's defiance leads to the deaths of his loved ones, but it also spurs him to lead his countrymen into battle against tyrannical English rule. That they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! Unfortunately, despite his heroics, the Scot is apprehended to be tried for treason and eventually executed for his so-called crimes. Bring me Wallace. Alive if possible. Dead. Just good. His accusers do afford him the opportunity to plead for clemency, but instead of using his last seconds on earth to beg, our hero confirms where his faith lies. It's this defiance and refusal to surrender that make William Wallace one brave heart. Freedom! Number three, Leon the Professional. This is from Matilda. One minute, Leon's a hitman with nothing to worry about except his plant. The next, he's a mentor to a 12-year-old girl whose family was slaughtered by the brilliantly psychotic and crooked DEA agent, Norman Stansfield. I killed my brother. And you want to join him. As her guide, Leon teaches Matilda his cleaner ways, shows her how to use a gun, and shares his love of milk. Unfortunately, when Matilda reveals herself and her revenge plan to Stansfield, it leads the police right to Leon's doorstep. While Leon is wounded in the ensuing action, he does escape, only to be shot in the back by Stansfield. Knowing that the only way Matilda would be safe is with the crooked cop dead, Leon makes sure to bring Stansfield down with him. Number two, Pan's Labyrinth. No. Set in post-Civil War Spain, Guillermo del Toro's beautifully dark fairy tale follows a young girl named Ophelia. Escaping the horrors of war, the young heroine travels through a fantasy wonderland in an attempt to gain immortality. Encountering such terrifying villains as the Pale Man in the fantasy world and Captain Vidal in the real world, she makes her way through a plethora of trials and tribulations. However, Vidal finally catches up with Ophelia and sadly shoots her in a shocking yet beautiful moment. Don't worry though, our heroine gets the last laugh. Decidle que ahora murió su padre. Decidle que yo. Ni siquiera sabrá tu nombre. Upon her death, she's transported to her fantasy realm where she's named Queen, once and for all escaping her brutal reality. Venid a mi lado. Y sentaos junto a vuestro padre, que tan largo tiempo os ha esperado. Before we unveil our number one dastardly pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I won't let you die. I won't let you die. 
I'm gonna dream you into a beautiful dream. Number one, Gladiator. Now that people want to know how the story ends, only a famous death will do. When Maximus Decimus Meridius is betrayed and his family slaughtered, he vows revenge on the man responsible. So, as a slave who's forced to entertain the masses as a gladiator in the Colosseum, he fights for his humanity, waiting for the day he can finally kill Commodus. He gets his chance when he's invited to battle the evil emperor. Unfortunately, to give himself the upper hand, Commodus surreptitiously stabs Maximus before their duel. Smile for me now, brother. Despite being injured and eventually disarmed, our hero manages to thrust a knife into the throat of his opponent. Having lost everything and given all that he had, Maximus is finally free to be with his family. What he did in his life echoes in eternity. Go to them. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.